Okay, let's do this. This is a 1966 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. Now, I kind of said that slowly, so you pay attention to the word Fleetwood. This is actually a Fleetwood. There's many guys that advertise cars for sale and say that they are a Fleetwood model, and they are not. The Fleetwood model is... Um, well, the Cadillac called them 60 series when they first started out. And uh, the Fleetwood is very different than the rest of the standard Cadillacs. Now, if you have a Cadillac that's a series 61, 62, or 63, depending on what year it is, it could have door sill plates and badges that say, Body by Fleetwood. Now, that doesn't mean that it's the Fleetwood model. It only means that it's uh, the Fisher body or the uh, Fleetwood body design that Cadillac used during the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever. But um, you don't have Fleetwood unless you really do have a Fleetwood. Now under the hood, there's a body style plate on the Cadillacs that will also tell you what the real body style is. So you have to be able to find that in the Cadillac uh, LaSalle Club books or online or whatever to see what body style you have. This is um, right here, this is a 66 and it's a model 68169, okay? That uh, will translate to um, Fleetwood Brougham in this year. Okay. Anyway, um, back to the Cadillac. Under the hood, 429, all original, with the uh, air conditioning, and it has an add-on cruise control that somebody put on years ago. It's an older cruise control. Looking at this car, looking at uh, details to show how original it is, uh, how clean it is, um, you can still see some of the uh, crayon marks right back in there uh, from the inspection going down the line. 66s have a, uh, a, a few problems. Well, a few things that you see on them will be like uh, you'll see some that have a, a cracked uh, hood bar right there. This one's not cracked. Um, you'll see damage on these um, headlight doors. You can see here that this has got a little scuff mark on the side, but this um, die cast pop metal headlight door is still in good shape. It's usually the right side that gets the, the damage because um, uh, people can't, they get old and moving a little slow and uh, trying to get it in the garage door of the old house and usually uh, miss the door and get the right side and scrape them up. This car is pretty straight down the side. This car has really nice chrome, very nice rubber around the, uh, the body. Even the rubber inserts here on the bumper you'll see are in excellent condition. Very nice bright chrome, uh, very nice pot metal pieces, nice emblems, uh, fit and finish is very good. It's all there. Let's walk around a little bit. Original vinyl top is still in pretty good shape. Um, the rubber around the doors, pretty good. Now this being the Fleetwood Brome, of course it had uh, these real wood door panel pieces that um, were on the 66 Eldorados and Bromes. It's the very high-end Cadillac for 1966. Another thing to look at on the 60s Cadillacs is this um, piece right here. This is a plastic insert. Most all of them are broken or missing. This one has a couple of cracks, but it's for the most part still totally intact. Nice headliner, nice visors. One crack in the dash right there. This, this car has the the power door locks, they're actually vacuum locks. It has um, the power vent windows. These are power, power windows, power windows, power vent in the back as well. 
and uh, you'll see that uh, this is the long wheelbase Fleetwood Brome model that has these extra features in here. The fold down desk and the footrest for both passengers in the back seat. Very nice, comfortable, big car. Of course, it's a Cadillac. Nice trim. Again, good chrome. Bump rims are great. Old paint starting to show some problems here and there. Very nice car. Nice original car. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can open the trunk. I'm gonna start it up. It's a vacuum powered. Okay. There goes the radio. Maybe it did open, I don't know. You notice I was able to pull the key out with it running. Yeah, that was one thing the Cadillac continued to do for a while. No, it didn't. It didn't open. It needs to build vacuum in the vacuum tank. Okay. So in the trunk we have the original cardboard side pieces but someone has replaced the, the bottom carpet. And there's an original tire that would have been on it in 1966. Okay, now the trunk will close the right way. This, let me see if I can show you what it does. Okay, now it's gonna pull itself down. Yeah, it pulls, it has a, vacuum electric pull down. Okay, here's what I was talking about here, the all the switches for your power windows and power vents. And I'll turn the radio off so we don't have to listen to that. Um, let's see, power door locks. I'm doing this with one hand, so you gotta bear with me a little bit. Okay, now I'm lowering the uh, power antenna. It's coming down. Original owner's manual and owner protection plan still in the glove box. This has the tilt and telly uh, option and telescoping. And you'll see the add-on cruise control there. Okay. See if the uh, power door locks work here. Yep. There you go. Power locks. Six-way power seat. Yep. Okay. Working. Um, turn signal indicators out on the ends of the fenders there left and right yes all good The uh, armrest uh, door pieces, the plastic boxes in the armrests are not broken like they usually are. Very good acceleration, nice and quiet. Mission shifts great. We're going to have the sun in our face here in a second. So I'll kind of put the camera down here a little bit. Go around in 
inside the car. Nice upholstery, great carpets. Um, wow. Wrong time of day to go for a drive with the sun right in my eyes. Very nice, 66 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. Hope you liked it.